Hey guys, it's Murph here on my first video of the rebrand. No longer my Undead Unicorn, I'm Murph now. And I'm here playing Heroes of Generals with uh, my good friend John. Yo, hello. We're trying to get, we're on the race to a thousand subscribers. If I get a thousand subscribers, then in this game, I get a thousand gold every month for free. Badass. It's more fun. More watching fun watching, watching me play. Because you won't just be watching the content that you can just do yourself. You'll have to, yeah, you'll be watching the content that you will have to pay for to do. <laughs> um, that's a joke, of course. So, you know, there's, it's, there's a lot of controversy of the pay-to-win model, but I think it, it works because it's not like it's impossible to get. I mean, I haven't paid a penny, and I've got a Panzerstreck, I've got a KB-98, I've got a pistol, as you can see here. And I've also got, um, I've also got some planes and a tank. So you know, it's it's not it's not bad. It's um, it works. So anyway, enough enough with the, the intro. In case you don't know what this game is, guys, it's like a, it's like a hardcore Battlefield Five, um, where all the weapons are faction specific, and you have to get them. And there's no class system outside of infantry, paratrooper, pilot, uh, tank, and recon. Yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's uh, let's ready up and we'll get into it. So, uh, John, the wall. John is going to be our commander. Uh, As usual. Now, what the the twist with Heroes of Generals compared to other strat, other first-person shooters, is as you can see here, this is a map of Europe, and basically, the way it works is it's like a strategy game. You guys know how strategy games work, where you can control little people and you move them around a map. Well, in this game, there is a strategy element to it. There are people controlling every army. And as they move about, the battles they fight are fought by real people. Now, isn't that an interesting concept? Um, and that's that's what we're going to be... Uh, and we, we quite like it. And if you fight in the war, you get more stuff. You get more money, you get more XP, which is why me and uh, John here are going to be fighting in the war. Hey, hey, and it's also way more fun. It is way more fun. And the thing is that I, that I like about it is it means um, it's not like the battles aren't completely balanced. In like Battlefield, for example, every side gets the same amount of tanks, every side gets access to the same weaponry and the same vehicles. It's not like that in a real war. In a real war, it's all about resource allocation. And it's like that in this game. You could get a match where you your guys have like a bunch of APCs, you got a bunch of personnel carriers, people no with infantry. with anti-tank in it, but then the enemy have got all these tanks and you've got to like ambush a tank brigade using anti-tank weapons. You've got to set up ambushes and stuff if you want to win. So I quite like mm. it. It it forces it you definitely to makes it interesting and uh, sometimes very unbalanced and difficult at times. But yeah, but war, war is unbalanced. Exactly, war is unbalanced. However, most of the stuff does seem to have the uh, individual balance between each other. Uh, like the American, uh, when it looks at tanks, if you look at any of the tanks, the tanks that, um, will seem like they're worse, but that's simply because everyone can jump access to any of the higher tier tanks. So if you were, let's say, wanted to play it yourself and you got the tanker, you're probably going to find that your medium tank, being your Panzer III, is not exactly going to stand up even to the Stuart which is the Americans, uh, probably one of the Americans' uh, most expensive light tanks. It's, you're going to struggle to fight against some of those things because they are of a higher tier. And, of course, people can have access to them from the get-go or they can work all the way up to them. But it's just, e just as easy to work up and get yourself anti-tank weaponry or not use tanks. Yes, uh, yes, it's very, uh, it, it makes for some very dynamic gameplay, which is yeah. why I like this game so much. And, and uh, Kerbal Wagons, you can't, can't forget the Kerbal Wagons. Oh, we make good use of <laughs> Kerbal Wagons. <laughs> Little Jeeps that drive around with a machine gun. I don't really like the Americans one, it's too, I think it's actually got a larger hitbox, the American one. I, I think it does, yeah. Because it gets, you see, notice how much they get stuck on shit. Yeah. I always see them fling off into a fucking corner because they hit like a barricade. Do you remember when we were on that motorbike and the American motorbike and we like intercepted? We um, we were driving around. We had we'd stolen a, a motorbike and a sidecar and we were just whizzing around. And then an American on a motorbike flies over the hill and we smash straight into him and he goes flying. It was it was brilliant. We've also uh, used the uh, the 
pebble wagon and tried to drive it and we, I've seen an American on my bike and just rammed it. It's just sent the bike <laughs> flying. I think it was a Soviet one actually and when I was using the pebble wagon that we went there. Looks like we're fighting and defending in Greece. Yes. Or Romania or Bulgaria I think that is. Oh. Um, so we've found a game guys and we've match made. And looking at the resources, we can see we have one medium tank destroyer. Wow. And the enemy have no armor to speak of. And that's a light tank destroyer. So I'll just... Is it? No, yeah. it's a medium tank destroyer. No, it just says tank destroyer. And they're usually light tanks, like the... Um... Well, there's no such thing as a light tank destroyer. There's only medium tank destroyers and heavy tank destroyers. Light tank yeah, destroyer think, doesn't exist. I say it's a light tank because it's a light tank turned into a tank destroyer. Oh, uh, okay. Like sure. a Hetzer, because sure. the Hetzer is not a that's not a medium tank. Uh, I I debate that it would be a medium. Well, it's 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 a T um whatever it's got T thirty, whatever. Well, whatever. it's it's that shitty light tank that's been turned into a tank destroyer. Are you talking about a Soviet tank or a German tank? No, it is German. It's the uh the one with the look. You know the the hung um. Czechoslovakian one. Oh, the sh yeah, I, I know which one you're. Yeah, that's a light tank. Yeah. Yeah. The and that's what the, the that's what the Hetzer is a converted hull of. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Okay. The Jagd Panther obviously isn't because yeah. it's a Panther. That's a heavy tank. Oh well, debatable if that's heavy or medium actually. Uh, we've got a lot. Moin, moin, Schaffen with us. Right, it looks like we have a pretty balanced game, 16 v 16, hopefully... Uh, uh, we actually might be able to kill them simply by just standing still. Hopefully the storm that's overhead right now doesn't screw with my ping. Um, we should probably, yeah, A line is E3. the enemy. Come with me, I'm going to spawn in at E3, and we're going to rush All around. Right. Alright, let's go. So here we are in a Kerbal Wagon. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Just uh, going on a little road trip. Oh, A3 is already being capped. Sure, it wasn't a good idea to start in uh, O point. Uh, I mean, it means that when we get there, we won't be really the first on the line. Yeah, that's true. We can be the, the cavalry, as it were. I saw some enemies over there. Keep your eyes open. Invasive moving. Open. I don't see anyone. Oh, there's guys I can't look. Oh, there. I hit him, I hit him. I'm taking fire. Wheel's gone, wheel's gone. We should get somewhere safe and then bail. Probably. Oh, somewhere safe gets into the enemy combat zone deploy zone even right I'm on really low health someone took a shot at me and uh, succeeded a there's a guy over there I got him nice let's move him oh they capped a3 oh, so our okay. efforts were in vain it's all right they'll probably capture it back soon yeah, yeah. Look, I'm already taking it yeah, we you, can you stay act here. as gonna... yeah. Act as a forward recon, I suppose. Yeah, we should just hold here for now. People will spawn here anyway. They have right. to to get over. I'll be a sort of lookout, I suppose. Uh, don't see any enemies. Oh no, because if they hold A3, they'll be spawning on that. Right. Well, we, can get, we can actually get them from just from the back of the spawn. All right, okay, we're going to move on back, because I think... Yeah. Uh, it looks like our attack has been brunted. Blunted, even, not brunted. We move through the forest. Don't be in the, such the open like that. I saw someone. Oh no, I'm getting a bit of lag. I think it's because of the storm. It's the Fortnite storm. Oh yeah, look, they're pushing the uh, the objective. Oh, we're taking fire, we're taking fire. There's health up here in this building, by the way. Of course I went the... Of course I went this way. Right, hang on. Oh, I made it. Okay, brilliant. Right. 
I hear gunshots. Are they nearby? They might be. This is their deployment zone. It is, isn't it? I've well, no, it, it won't point. be because they uh, they once they hold the objective anyway. There's a guy over there. Got a hit. Killed him. Killed him. Nice. Oh, I got another kill. Very good. I'm like Still. a American sniper, except I'm German. German sniper. GI German. Like that Tarantino character in Inglorious Bastards. They make a film about him. It's a bit meta. Okay. 